You know, these guys, we've done that before. We've been in so many close games that, and we actually talked about that kind of stuff before the game as a group of, we don't know what the circumstances are going to be. We don't care what they're going to be. We're just going to find a way. It just shows how resilient together we are as a team, you know. Ever since the beginning, we knew we this is what we dreamed about and this is what we worked towards, so it's nice to see our work finally paying off. And you can definitely tell down the stretch how we're the most connected team and just how we stay together, and that's what helps us win these games. I mean, it just shows the toughness of our team. We know, like, there's no easy game, especially UNLV um, having home court advantage. And... Um, it just shows the toughness and like we have vets on this team and we know how to win games and um, we're extremely connected and I'm just so proud of my guys. What a resilient performance by this boys sit men's basketball team again got up big had to find a way to win and Brian this time of year. It is all about surviving and advancing, and that's exactly what the Broncos were able to do. We're going to find out later tonight who they play. Uh, New Mexico and Utah State just tipping off. The Broncos get the winner tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. Ooh, it's going to be one. a late one. Yeah, and this one going a little late because of the overtime game, so it'll be interesting to see who they play for tomorrow. So, yeah, <laughs> I have, safe to say they can't do the same thing they did tonight if they expect to make it to the next round. Go up by 20 or so and then have to turn it around and win in I overtime. I don't know, Brian. Every single game at the Mountain West Tournament this year has been an epic photo finish, a number of overtime games. I have no idea what to expect <laughs> tomorrow. I bet it's going to be entertaining, though. Which is why we're going to be watching at 10 o'clock tomorrow night. All right, thank you very much, Jay. We'll check back in with you tomorrow, get a good night's sleep, and uh, see what the Broncos can do tomorrow. We'll be right back.